One more opportunity, bottom of the sixth inning for Central Iowa, down by three. Let's listen in on their manager's pep talk, Charlie Husek, in the break. We're down three. We can get three right now. Take your time. Relax. Don't panic. Even with two outs, don't panic. Don't let your heart drop, all right? It's got to stay up. We have scored over 20 runs with two outs and nobody on. This game is not over, all right? We got to go out, be patient, keep our hands back, make adjustments, or we're not going to do this. So you make adjustments, ready? Team by three. One, two, three. Let's go, let's go. I love that. Don't let your heart drop. And as well, if you don't think these coaches are master statisticians, you don't know anything about Little League. Those dads from all four teams were throwing numbers at us today. Yeah. They're like eye-popping savants with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, they know the kids and what they're capable of doing. And, you know, I love the fact that he talks about making adjustments. Mm -hmm. It's what the game's all about. Kayla yeah. Hogue, she's been the hottest batter in this game. A sharp ground out to Kelsey Kerr to lead off the inning. After a double and a single in the first two at bats. Skyler Rigby, one of the other big leaders. Charlie Husak telling us that Rigby is kind of the emotional fire leader. Hope is the centered leader. She's calm. And the team responds to that stoic influence that she brings. Of course, she finds that minuscule space between shortstop and third. With these potent Michelle. Uh, Ruby just has so many talents behind the dish, strong arm, and in the Box. Look at the adjustment she made. She moved up in the box. She's going to catch anything before it moves or drops down. She gets that ball through the 5-6 hole. And it's going to be team business. Maggie Larson, same spot. Deja vu. Two straight singles for Central Iowa. Talk about the Talked about the adjustments, and you can see they're all moving up in that box, trying to catch that ball before it drops down, so we can hit it through that 5-6 hole. <laughs> Madison Kyle had a double when she hit in this spot back in the fourth inning, so she will step back into the batter's box. Try to keep that going. Madison Kyle. An opportunity to come through with a hit with two on here. With the swinging bunch variety. Oh, it's so deceptive. And then the ball gets kicked away. Central scores. Rigby was eyeing that the entire time and saw her chance to put another run on the board. You see this ball goes off the end of the bat. This is just a tough defensive play, but what the defense needs to do in that situation, talk a little bit more. The pitcher can't be running after that ball. Between the first baseman or the second baseman you to try to charge in. Oh, the central team capitalizing, and making something happen. One of the hallmarks of Warwick North's success is the communication between the players on the defense. They were telling us that this morning. Every once in a while, though, that gets away from you. Yeah. on the corners. Just one out. Michaela Hogue let off the inning with a ground out. We've had three straight singles since. And a runner now for Kyle Haley Steffen. Hey, first first Steffen steps in and run in what was first spot initially in the batting order.
Isabella Johnson will hit her now. She was hit by a pitch in her first at bat. Lays down a bunt. Carter sees it roll right away, and another one scores for Central Iowa. And Central putting the pressure on. has a little bit of havoc on the right side of the infield and done just that. Diamato, the second baseman, stays back. So does Richard, the first baseman. You can see this ball just gets past Emily Carter, the pitcher. Outstanding effort by the central team to make something happen. You can see that Maggie Larson easily going to score. Yeah, they're a little fired up. Big Trevor, you sound like that? Yeah. <laughs> And these fans have been on their feet, the Central Iowa fans, most of this game, their second game of the day. And it's now a one-run game with two on, just one out. With the bottom of the six, this home team trying to win in walk-off fashion. One run on second, one run on first. Brenna Hewen is your batter. Hewen came in. In the fourth inning, ground out to third to end that inning. She stays in the spot in the lineup. in the minds of the players right now, Michelle. If you're the East team, are you, are you on your heels? Are you ready to just end this thing? Well, well if you're the East team, you're just looking, looking for an out right now, and obviously if you can get the lead runner, that's going to help out the cause. But right now, the right side of the infield hasn't been communicating the way they need to, so I'm surprised they haven't pulled themselves together and just said, all right, let's calm down and just we need to pick up a couple outs. They're still up by a run. She was playing in some close runs this week. The two-run win against Southeast, the one-run loss to West, and then the one-run win today against West. Four lead changes in their game this morning against the West team, back and forth in that game to win it by one run. And a valiant comeback effort here in the bottom of the sixth. It is count now, three and one to Brenna Hewitt. And now, Michelle, we're going to listen in on the conversation we anticipated would happen. Relax, relax. Hey, hey, you got one out. Go for the out. She came to you twice. Okay? Go get it. Let it through. I need you to relax. Take a deep breath and relax. That's all you got to do. All right? No strikes, right to deep. Get this out, right? Forget about everything else, block it out. I need you now. Come on, kid. Right now. Let's go. Okay. All right. I'm fired up. All right. Tell the kids what to do. I love it. That's what good coaches do. Instruct. Teach. Steer. Tell them what to do. Huh? not to do. It's amazing how many times you hear that. That's a great point. Speak positively, take a deep breath. He knows they have it in them to win this game. And shut the door. What a pitch. That low inside pitch. It's been tough to hit all day for the central. You see the way that this ball is just going to dump down and inside. Nice effort to go after it, but you see this is probably ball four. Look at that movement. Abby Hussock is here now. Chloe Dorby hitting this spot in the fifth inning. Hussock back in. She can have that in the third.
Moves on first and second, two outs, perhaps the last out for Central Iowa. Two second out down, oh and two. Nice off speed pitch. And then Carter saving the best up the last. She just needed that look in the eye from the manager, Kevin Detroit. You got this. She's responding. Baby. Two straight strikeouts after the talk in the circle as Emily Carter staves off Iowa's comeback and Rhode Island hangs on to win 5-4. to four. Great effort. This East team at the Central having to play two games today. They did a really good job, but you got to love to see this play in the Lake softball. Warwick, Rhode Island will be playing for the Little League Softball World Series Championship tomorrow night. That game at 9 o'clock Eastern right here on ESPN2. Friendly reminder, we're bringing you a second semifinal from Oregon in about a half hour's time right here on ESPN2. With a wonderful Holly Rowe and the help of Michelle Smith and our great crew on Kara Capuano. We will see you shortly right back here from Portland. Congratulations to both these teams. It's Warwick, Rhode Island. Advances. You're watching the two.